Hey there tech fans, Rick here again with another review, and today I have a really nice multi-tool from our friends over at Tactiman that's actually 10 different tools in a single product that's small enough to slip into a pocket or clip to your belt. This is really in a lot of ways the perfect companion for your next camping trip or really any outdoor adventure. Now before I get too deep into what makes this multi-tool special, I always like to start with an unboxing just to show you everything that's included with the kit, and that way you understand exactly what you get if you buy the product. And then I'll dive into the details of what I really like about this product because Tactiman has thought about what I'm gonna use a tool like this for on the trail, and they've tried to pack everything I need in a single product, and I'll get into that. And then I'll take a closer look at it and explain how the blades open, how they lock, how they unlock, and show you all the features the product provides. And I'll come back one more time and remind you of the things that I really like about this multi-tool so you can use those to compare it to others you may be considering. All right, so let's get started with the unboxing. Well, when you open the box, there's not a lot inside. You'll find the multi-tool and an instruction manual. And you might be thinking, why do I need an instruction manual? Don't I just open it up and start using it? Well, you can, and you can sort of figure it out on your own, but I always like seeing a manual because there may be things this can do that you may not figure out on your own right away. So I always recommend reading through a manual just so you get the best value out of a product. And I'll probably show you most of the things you need to know in this next section. So let's talk about the tool. I think what Tactiman did was to sit down and think about a day on the trail. What am I going to do when I'm out camping or hiking? What kind of tools am I going to need on a regular basis? Now, there are a lot of multi-tools on the market, but the trick is finding one that works for the purpose you're going to use it for. So for example, this would not be great if you're working on a car because you need things like wrenches and pliers and screwdrivers. They're not in here. But that other tool that has a wrench, a screwdriver, and a bunch of other things on it was too heavy to take out in the trail. You're never going to need a pair of needle nose when you're out on the trail. So what they did was build into 10 things that somebody in the outdoors would use on a regular basis. So of course there's a great blade in there. There's also two serrated blades. So there's a blade that'll cut rope really well and another one that'll cut small branches really well. There's a can opener. There's also a bottle opener. There's a fish hook remover. So all the things you would need out there when you're fishing or camping or whatever you're doing in the outdoors is really in this one product. And the nice thing about it is they built this thing to be incredibly durable. So it's made out of stainless steel and it's really high quality stainless steel, 440A and 420, which is gonna last you a long time. So it's not a tool that you're gonna have trouble with anytime soon. And they've also taken the extra step to add this sort of brushed finish to the outside, which gives it a really nice high-end look. All right, so on the outside of the tool, the first thing you'll notice is the belt clip. And you might think, okay, they all have belt clips. Well, this one's a little bit different because they actually hold the belt clip on the tool with a screw on the top here. And that's important because as you use this belt clip over time, it's gonna get lazy because you're clipping it on your belt, unclipping it from your belt. So the spring tension is gonna give up and it's not gonna clip on your belt as tight as it did the day you bought it. So what happens is maybe you're walking along a trail and it's kind of a lot of bramble around you and you brush up against something and the tool pops off your belt, but you don't realize it for a half a mile. Now the tool's a half a mile behind you on the trail and you gotta go hunting for it. With this one, you can pull that screw out and you can rebend that to add the tension and put it back in. So you've always got a really tight attachment to your belt there. They've also built in a glass breaker on the bottom, and that's great for getting into a car, getting out of a car in an emergency. You'd think, well, I'll just kick the window and I'll get out of the car. It doesn't work like that. Only in the movies does it work like that. So you need something like this to bang up against the glass to shatter it so you can get out of the car. This would be a great thing to keep in your glove box because heaven forbid, you get into an accident, the car flips over, and you gotta get out of the car in a hurry. Well, you've got blades to cut your seatbelt. You've also got the glass breaker that you can hit the glass with and get the heck out of the car. So I think that's a nice little touch. And again, it comes down to tack them in thinking about what I'm gonna use this tool for and they found a little extra space up here and they thought, let's just put a glass breaker on it. All right, so the tool itself has got 10 different tools inside of it. Some come out the bottom, some come out the top. What I like about this tool though, and this is something you may not find in a lot of other multi-tools, is that every blade locks. I can't stress that enough. That's super important, especially if you're using a sharp blade. The last thing you want is for the blade to start folding in and catching you on the finger. And, you're, and when you're sawing something, that's even more important because you don't want the blade to come down when you're sawing through a rope or sawing through a branch. So every blade locks. And they've included scissors too. And you think, well, what do you use scissors on the trail? You'd be shocked how many times you need scissors when you're out there hiking. So next I'm gonna take a closer look at the unit and walk through all the different blades, show you how they lock, how they unlock, and how you can use it. And again, I'll come back at the end and point out a couple of things that I really like about this product because I've got a lot of multi-tools. A lot of them are really big. A lot of them have tools that I find that I don't use when I'm out in the field. This one is really, I think, the smallest tool I can carry with me that gives me all the essential things I need for a day out camping. So stay tuned next. We'll take a closer look and then I'll come back with some final thoughts. I'll start by reviewing some of the features on the outside of the multi-tool. I like the fact that it's got branding right in the top there and you can see that brushed finish I was talking about on that surface and over here as well. It carries through the entire tool. It gives it a, a very high-end look. Now on the one end you'll find the glass breaker 
And that can be really handy if you have to get into or out of a car in an emergency. Just bang that up against the window and it'll get the job done for you. And then you'll also notice a belt clip on this side, which is really good for hanging it off your belt or on a pocket or even your backpack. And I love the fact that it's removable because over time that's going to get lazy on you as you clip it and unclip it from your belt. You can actually loosen that screw, take this off, rebend it, and put it back on. So you can always adjust that as needed. Now on the bottom of the tool, there are actually two different tools. There's a blade right here, which is a really heavy duty blade. And there's a scissor over here. And I'll show you to open the both of them up. I'll start with the scissor. That little bar right there allows you to grip it and pull it out. Now you notice when it's fully extended, it's not locked. It's still kind of flimsy there at the end. The way it locks is you open up the scissors like that and then pull it all the way open. Hear that click? Now it's in a locked position. So you can use this like you would any other scissor. And when you're done using the scissors, to fold it back in, you've got to release the lock right here. So just push down on that and then fold it back into the actual multi-tool itself. Same thing with the blade on the other side. You can pull the blade out right here and extend the blade all the way. Hear the click? Now it's in the lock position. It's not going to close on you. And to close it up, again, you'll push down here and fold it back into the multi-tool. Now on the other side are all the other tools, and they're all kind of hidden inside here. I'll pull all three out just to show you at the same time. So what you've got are two serrated blades right there. This one is great for cutting wood. This one is really good for cutting rope. Both of them have fish hook removers on the end there, so you can use that if you've got a fish hook buried deep in the throat of a fish, you can get that on the hook and get it out of there. And then you've got a combination can opener, bottle opener right here. So that's really great for opening cans. If you're out in the trail and you've got a can of something you want to cook up for dinner, you can open it with that. And this is great for opening up a bottle. And again, each of these individually will lock open. So let me close that. Hear that click? And now it's locked open. Now with this one, to release those bottom blades, you'll push down right here. So you'll just basically push down and that loosens the blade and you can close it up. And the other two lock as well. And that's really important because again, if you're cutting something like a, a small branch, or you're cutting through rope, you don't want the thing folding in on your fingers. And if you're gonna open a can of something, you wanna make sure that you have plenty of leverage with this to get into that can and actually open it up. Uh, and again, to loosen this one, or I should say close this one, you'll push down right here and then close the blade. That's pretty much it for the product. I, I like it an awful lot, and I think it's small enough and incredibly functional uh, in, in such a small package like this. I hope that closer look was helpful. Now I'd like to give you a few things to keep in mind when you're comparing this particular multi-tool to others you may be considering. So the first thing is any multi-tool you're looking at should be made out of stainless steel and it should be a high quality stainless steel. Again, this is 440A and 420. So you've got a really, really high quality product here. The second thing, which is just as important to me, is that the blades lock because if they don't lock, I've always got to be careful about that blade folding in and catching my finger and nothing's more frustrating than when I'm trying to open a can of beans or something out there on the trail and that, that can opener keeps folding back on me and I cut my finger. So all the blades on this lock, which are great, and it's really easy to lock them and unlock them. Another thing that's nice is I think they, they took the time to really make this look like a high-end product. So you've got the, the high tensile steel, but it's also got a brush finish on the outside. So when I show this to friends, they're thinking, man, that's a good looking unit. I like that a lot. I love the fact that the belt clip is removable. So over time, if that gets lazy, like I'd mentioned, I can take it off, rebend it, put it back on. And I think this glass breaker on the end is such a nice touch because a lot of the multi-tools out there don't really have that. They may have a spike on the end or they've got one of the blades that's a little bit sharp, but banging a, a metal blade against glass may not break it. This is definitely high carbon steel, I believe, that'll actually break that glass. Now, I haven't tested it on my car because I don't have to get out of the car, but I like the fact that they put it on there. I don't think it was an afterthought. I think they thought through what you'd be using this for, and they thought, you know, I've got a little extra space in the end there. Why don't we put a point on that that'll allow them to break glass with it? So again, this would not be a bad thing to have in your, in your glove box in the car. Not that you'll ever need it, but if you do need it, you got it, and you can get out of the car. So that's pretty much all I had for today. Hopefully, you found this review helpful. I think it's a great product. I've used it for a while, and I like it an awful lot. So I think you will as well. Thanks again for watching, and until next time, <laughs> stay nerdy.